Calimerisas Tortier. This is going to be one of those reviews. Um, the nice folks at the uh, oh god here we go at Momichani uh, have been in touch and uh, they kindly sent on uh, this. This is the dome and uh, if you've been following the forums and stuff like that then you, you'll know all about this and this is the, the 22mm rebuildable atomizer and it is specifically designed for the 69 or the Nemesis uh, you'll specify which one you want to buy and uh, just to show you here You know, it's not a 510 connection, you know, it's not going to screw on to just anything. You have to have a Nemesis, so you would take your top cap off of the Nemesis or your 69, uh, depending on which one you've ordered, and it just screws on, do up the bottom, and that's you, ready to vape away. Now, Posho Kanyatov, Posho Kanyatov, how much is this? Uh, this is going to be 150 euros um, and it will be available from the guy's website uh, hopefully within the next few days uh, hopefully within the next few days uh, it does come in a nice little bag like this and it comes with uh, everything basically everything you see here we'll sh I'll do full close-ups and show you everything uh, but it comes with uh, glass tank and it comes with a stainless steel tank as well uh, you can run this in pretty much any configuration you like you can change the size of the wick holes it's stainless steel you can get it in polished or brushed uh, airflow adjustment it has an air release valve on it as well uh, it's got quite a few nice little features and it's got a few nice little features that uh, I have to say actually work. I don't mean this in any disrespect to any other modder, but you know it has a feature where you can move the position of the airflow in the, the top section of the top cap. So you can change it from a warmer to a cooler vape and it does actually work. Uh, I've been playing with this for the past two days and uh, or three days and uh, I've been having a lot of fun with this. Uh, let's have a quick vape. Stunning. Great flavour. Uh, really is great flavour. Uh, but rather than me whittering on Posnes Steminica. I actually don't know how you say it in Greek, uh, but uh, let's go down and we'll have a close look at this. If you're wondering what's going on, I was told I could get this to review as long as I practiced my Greek. And I'm making a complete mess of it. But anyway, let's go down and have a close up look. Now, this is everything broken down as far as I can take it. Uh, or as far as I'm prepared to take it uh, but uh, this is essentially the dome uh, you also get this little tool here which is for changing your insulators in here you can actually have it, the, the insulators come in 3.2mm and 2.6mm size so you can actually change the size of your wick holes so you can have whatever size mesh you want in there up up to 3.2 millimeter or down to 2.6 millimeter um, we'll start at the bottom um, oh sorry what I should say first is everything comes in this little pouch here which has uh, crumbs from my biscuits on it um, so we have the base and hopefully you can see here we have the Atmom Hikani uh, logo, the steam train, 
and on the back we have the dome and a serial number. This is a, a silver post because this threads directly onto either a, a Nemesis mod or a 69. You need to specify which one you're going to buy and uh, you get the base, the relevant base. So this one threads straight onto my Nemesis. Uh, so we have this silver post that comes right up through here and you can see in the base there is a little o-ring down at the bottom there and that's what this oops this section sits in that just goes right in here like so and screws down we have this little insulator here which then slides over and you just push that down Sorry, I'm going to get a shot here. Push that down. And that's as far as that goes. Now, you decide whether you want, uh, this is a quartz glass tank, or do you want the stainless steel tank? Now, I'm going to go for the stainless steel today, because I've been using the, the, the glass tank, but I fancy seeing what it's like with this on it. So, we just pop that down like so. And that pushes down. Then going to take this section here, and you can see this is just going to go down and screw right onto here. I've actually got some e juice on uh, my o rings here already, uh, but I would suggest putting some VG or something on the o rings just to help the tank go on and to help this slide into place. I'll take this out of the way just now and bring all these wee guys into play. Right, first off, this one here screws on here. And you can see that when I've been screwing that on, it actually pushed that insulator down even further. And this is, you know, this is your live terminal, if you like. Yeah, it's your live. Now this one here, um, this is your fill valve. You know, you fill up your juice with here. But it's also an air release valve, you know. Uh, normally, what I tend to do with, uh, you know, my Genesis is I always leave one of the, you know, one of these little plungers, I'll leave it up out to aid wicking. But uh, I've been trying, you know, having all the plungers in and just leaving this open so there's air getting into it. And it seems to be working quite well. Uh, it's quite a nifty little feature. Now, the... You can see all the these sitting in there like so. If you want to change them out, it's very easy to do so. You do have to take the top cap off, this top section off though, and you would just put this down in a flat surface and just bang. And that will actually pop this out of the, the bottom and then you just insert your different size one from underneath. Uh, pretty straightforward to do. I've left it uh, the, the wider one, the 3.2 millimeter one, that's just what I prefer. So we'll put these to one side just now. But that tool does come with it and uh, like I say, very easy to use. You'll not have any issues with that. Now we have all our, our negative screws here and I'm just going to pop these in. Or I'm going to try my usual, all fingers and thumbs. Just pop that neg in there. Pop this neg in the other side. Now you can run this in single or dual, uh, single wick, u wick. Or you could have uh, a dual wick as well if you wanted to. There we go. 
So we've got our negative screwed in there. So, I mean, it's really up to you. I mean, you could have, you know, uh, what do you want to have? Do you want to have a single wick there? Another wick in there, having two separate wicks. Uh, two separate wicks. No, that's not going to... Yeah, you could have two separate wicks there as well. You could have a U wick in here. Uh, you yeah, know, do what you like. Uh, and you also have these plungers. You know, if I was to put a, a wick in here, you know, I can just plug off all the other holes. Like so. So I would just have a single wick in there. And like I say, you know, I can unscrew the the air valve here to equate the pressure in here. Uh, so that's that. Now, that's where it gets quite interesting. If you have your wick here, we have one part of the top cap and another part of the top cap. Now, top cap, uh, we have a couple of holes here. We have uh, now, I believe this is your one mil draw. We have a 1.5 and we have a 1.8. That's 1.8, 1 and 1.5 mil draw. And you can see on the top cap here that the, the holes correspond. So if I wanted to use that one, I just line it up like so. If I want to use these, same again. Now, adjusting on the fly, I mean, right, I mean, you don't want to have to be pulling the cap off and on like that. I'm just going to pop this on here just now. I've never seen it with the stainless steel tank. It's quite nice with the stainless steel tank. It's unusual. Uh, I've been actually, if I wanted to see if they, where the, the holes are, you can actually pull that down. Uh, that's what I've been doing. And, uh, you know, just spinning this round and then pushing it back up so rather than taking the whole top cap off to adjust your you know what size of air hole you want just pull it down and that's you now we have this piece this is the, the, the top of the top cap and you'll see there's an actual you know it's not wide open there's an actual hole in there just a small hole and there's an indentation that lines up with that hole. So what you can do is take that indentation and say you line it up with your wick. So it's going to be directly above your wick. That's going to give you a, a warm vape. Or that is exact. that's what I've been finding. I'm getting quite a hot vape. If however, if I take that and I turn it round, right, away from the, the wick it cools the vape down um, for me it has been working uh, it is a feature that it's not a, a dramatic huge oh my god it's gone all cold but there is a noticeable difference in the type of vape I'm getting moving that hole uh, so I just move your indentation so there it is it's directly above say the, the air hole there just now which would be in front of the wick and that's it. So I, I've just pulled the stainless steel tank off and I'm just going to put the, the quartz one in here. Make sure it's pushed right down. There we go. Then no problem. I'll take it off the device just now. And we'll screw all this back together. I'll try and find the bits to put it back together. And then we'll pop this back together. You have like almost like a two click. It reminds me of the assets. You know, I've actually been vaping it like this sometimes. I found that, uh, you know, you can actually have it just like that. But then you give it another push. 
and it clicks down. There we go, there's the dome, all raring to go. Right, I think we should get a build in this. Uh, I think we should get a drip tip first. Um, and I'm going to use my Omen Titanium, because I think that looks stunning. Right, let's go for a build. Now I'm going to start off, I'm just going to put a, a standard build in this. Uh, I actually have the setup that I was using. Uh, this was actually ribbon wire. This is ribbon wire that I got from Schmo Vapes. It's almost like tin foil. I've got a cracking vape off of it. Uh, I'll take that off. So I've already oxidized this and set it up. And uh, been vaping with it already, so I'm just going to pop that in. So this is the stuff that uh, Stu and Mo sent me on. You see, it's, it's really thin, paper thin. Uh, but we'll give this a bash because I'll, I'll use it again because it worked really well. So there's a wire. I'm just going to trap that underneath that negative post there. Pull it around with my finger and tighten it off. There we go. Let's pull this up a little bit. Start wrapping away. Listen, th there is a, a bit of because there's there's so much going on in here. I mean, there's a lot of posts and terminals and you know so many options. Uh, I thought it was going to be a lot harder than what it actually is. It's it's not that bad to set up. Uh, as you can hopefully see here, I'm not making too much of a meal of it. I hope I'm not. I just forgot to undo this. I'm just going to pull this up a bit. Tighten it off a little bit and then I'm just going to make sure this is all dandy. Not the best I've ever done but it uh, doesn't look to be too bad. So here we have uh, a Nemesis. I'm in 18650 mode just now and I'm just going to screw this straight on here. Mm -hmm. And we get that beautiful hybrid look. Do my bottom cap up. Let's see how we got on here. I'll just keep pulsing away at this. And there we go, you can see it's that'll do me. Just about there. Right, let's get some liquid in this. Now, I have to admit, I, I know this little screw here is, you know, for filling. Um, but I have to admit, I find it easier to fill by taking one of the plungers out. But that's just me. Right, let's fill it up. So there we go, we're all filled up. I just got three and a half mil in there. I'm quite surprised. I thought it was a smaller capacity than that. But uh, no, nope, three and a half mil. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Right. Um, what I'll do here. Oops. Uh, so just going to pop this down here, find my wick hole. So there we go, lining it up. Actually, I don't want that big one, so I'm just going to pull this off and I'm going to go for the twin air holes here and line that up again. Slide it up. There we go. I'm 
I'm going to want as hot a vape as I can get, so I'm lining the little indentation in the top cap. Up it goes. Pop my drip dip on. And it's time for a vape. So that's it. The dome. In all its glory. Um, if you like your Genesis atomizers and you have a 69 or you have a Nemesis it's a bit of a no-brainer in my opinion. Uh, it's a very good rebuildable atomizer. Uh, you can set it up any way you want. Uh, I was messing about with a cotton and microcoil build there last night and vape great. Uh, it's just a, 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 a bonny wee thing. Um, what have I been finding out? The, I still find it easier to, you know, the way I've been pulling the the outside sleeve of the top cap, pull it down and then turn to adjust, uh, if you want to adjust the airflow on the fly, I find that the easiest way to do it. Be careful when you're pulling the top cap off, hold the tank as well, because you don't want to pull the whole thing off. Uh, I'm not saying the tank's very loose, but it's not extremely tight so I would be careful about that because you know you don't want to be pulling sh the whole thing off uh, messy but here it is in 18350 mode and on a brass nemesis with a cyan mod switch tip uh, actually I'll just obviously it's 22 millimeters but uh, height wise um, top to bottom you're looking about 49, you're looking about 50 mil, uh, it's going, you know, uh, it's adding 50 mil onto the height of the, the overall device. Um, back there, a quick vape. Uh, looks wise, because it is important, I mean this is totally subjective and I mean, this is personal opinion, you know, uh, I do like the look of it, it's taken a bit, of, I mean I know I get the dome thing, um, it's unusual, it's a bit different to your standard setup. Um, I must admit at first I wasn't I wasn't entirely sure whether or not I liked the look of it. Um with the right drip tip and right combo, uh I mean this on a polished nemesis is gonna look stunning. Um it is growing on me and it's uh, it is nice. Um the only other thing I've found and this really only applies, seems to apply in 18350 mode, and this just may be the battery that I'm using just now. What am I using? That's what it is. Uh, going to get myself an AWIMR here. That's the, the you know, that's the throw on the switch. with an EWIMR uh, using anything, you know, like an EFS nipple top, you know, the, the, the throw increases. But that's where I reckon getting a longer pin, you know, you can get longer pins to use with a kick ring uh, and shorten the throw, that's where that would come in. Oh, and that battery's got a full charge in it. Mm. Nice. Uh, now even though I got this free for review, I'd, if you like the At Mom Hicks Hanny, At Mom Hicks, At, at Mom Hicks Hanny, At Mom Hicks Hanny um, gear, uh, get it. You know, just go for it because it's it's just going to finish off your, your mod. Uh, it's really nice. And uh, 
it just gives you that hybrid look with a quality atomizer on top. The adjustability for flavour, uh, you know, hot, warm, uh, the airflow adjustment. I like the fact that I'm able to leave all the stoppers in and just adjusting that little valve, uh, I'm getting, you know, equalising the pressure and that's working great. For putting e-liquid in it, I'm just taking one of the stoppers out uh, and putting it in that way, I find it so much easier. Uh, but other than that, that's about it. Listen guys, thank you for uh, putting up with uh, the attempts at Greek here and uh, thank you for watching as always. If you want to get this, uh, you know, go along to the website, the link will be up in the corner or, you know, there may be local vendors across the EU and the rest of the world that are supplying this. So, uh, thank you for watching. And to Katerina and Michalis, I would just like to say, Puene Toileta. Till next time. Cheers, guys. Bye.